Hello, hello everyone, and welcome back to my France, Napoleon, Total War, Darth Maud campaign, let's play. Yeah, those are a lot of words. Anyway, I did promise you at the start of this part to bring you a battle. And, uh, well, you don't have to stress out because I'm gonna show you a big battle pretty soon. But, I just wanted to show you this. Kingdom of Prussia has declared war on me. So... Yep, I pretty much expected them to do so, but it's still pretty terrifying. They will probably get Hanover. I don't know. Also, the Austrians are finally on the move, and well, I have an army capable of meeting them and maybe defeat them. We'll see though. It's led by it's the one uh, army led by Napoleon, so we don't have to. Uh, well, I think we can relax a bit. Also, once again, AI, which uh, is a running running theme in Total War. Even though Darth Maul, Darth Maul definitely makes it much much better. Okay, let's turn off the advisor because she's quite annoying. City besieged. Yeah, this is the battle I was actually talking to you about. Because the one news on Reddit which said, well, Britain's first mission is to capture Britannia or Brit Brittany. Which uh, is uh, the other word for this. A dear child has a lot of names. At least that's a saying in Norway. I don't know about the rest of the world. Okay. So what I did do was take the entire army, <laughs> which was stationed in, stationed in Paris, and have them go here. These guys went to the city and said, we want you to surrender. And uh, we said, no. So they didn't attack. And as you can see, <laughs> because of that, I'm able to get here. And okay, chase them away. That's a bit boring. Let's get a proper battle. Yes. Several units of foot, some fensible, just one unit of fensible actually, uh, some highland foot, a little bit of artillery, and a few a few units of dragoons. <laughs> it's 8,300 men against 3,800. Yeah. I'm feeling pretty confident about this one. Also, another thing. I'm fighting against Arthur Wellesley, also known as the um, the Duke of Wellington. So, it's quite important to try to kill him. But, again, he is what is called a... Well, he's an important general. Along with, uh, as I said in the previous part maybe, Napoleon and a few other guys. So, even if he dies, he doesn't really die. He just becomes injured and uh, you can't use him for several turns and is magically teleported to your to your capital, I believe. Maybe to close the city. Oh god damn it. The camera is back to being ridiculous and even more ridiculous. You know, I can cope with the annoying camera usually, but let's see, that's the wrong thing. Controls. Actually, this is on control. Standard camera. Wow, this is horrible. Anyway, classic Total War camera. Um, unfortunately. This is the furthest out we will get, actually. Hmm. And the problem is I can't just change the camera on the fly. Like, make it into the debug mode. Also, goddamn UI is broken once again. There we go, everything up and running. God damn, that is annoying. Anyway, I can't do that on the fly, I have to exit the game and then change the setting and then get back into it again. And of course, that uh, that makes it so that this battle isn't guaranteed to ha happen again, like it's going to happen right now. So, I'm sorry, I'm really, really sorry, this is going to be a quite assumed in battle. Also, this is the first you will see of the Colonne attack in actual battle. And they should be able to use square. Let's see. Or maybe not. Anyway. 
what we are, what if we uh, actually had bonds with these guys? Just put them back here for time being while we take care of all the other men, including the uh, the young gods. Okay, try to spread it out a bit. Actually, quite a lot it seems like. There we go. And have them being centered right here. And hopefully, we're not getting shot down by our own artillery. Speaking of, how's the range? Decent. Let's see, where's the deployment zone? Okay, all the way. No, oh, never mind, it's this square over here. So, yeah. Just. just out of reach. So maybe just move it up a little bit. Just a teensy bit. There we go. Yeah, well, we'll see. At least I have good range on my artillery. Okay, what to do with you guys? Well, we can have one flank there, one flank over here. But, to be honest, I don't think they will be needed. Anyway. My forces are led by... Uh, who is this again? Murat? I think so. Might be. Anyway, a, a competent general. That's the most important thing. And... A little bit of cavalry. And more importantly, more cavalry than my enemy. Basically, more of everything, actually. Come to, to uh, think of it. So, let's get these guys moving. Just to avoid them getting shot by artillery. And there we go. Also, I turned down the volume a bit. So... Yeah, because I noticed the previous part being very, very loud on the battlefield. So, hopefully this is actually better. Okay, they haven't waltzed into into my range yet. They do have 9-pounder, which apparently outrange mine. That's no fun. Well, I'll limber the artillery and get into range then. It's not too tricky. And you guys, you can just follow. Follow behind. Oh, I didn't move the cavalry here. Let's do that then, and keep... Keep up with my reserve. Yeah, I'm highly doubtful to... To <laughs> these ranks ever being, uh, being, uh, broken. Well, they might rout just due to a lot of artillery. Because most units are stupid like that. Anyway, let's try to get our cannons into range and destroy the enemy artillery. And this should should be sufficient. Colon attack. Still going strong. Let's see. And you. There we go. And also you. So, just keep on the advance. Missed one there. Hmm. There we go. Much better. Of course, they can't use square. That's the problem. But, there are so many men. So, that's anti-cavalry measures in and of itself. Of course, it's not foolproof, but it's, it's uh, well, Calorie will have a hard time just breaking through all those lines. Let's see. Okay, they're soon at their uh, designated positions. Let's get it a bit more uh, even, I think. I don't know, actually. Well, maybe not in the middle of the trees, so... This. 
Looks a bit better. So, British forces taking up uh, defending positions. But hopefully this won't be like Waterloo all over again. Duke of Wellington. Wellington. Mm-hmm. Light Dragoons showing themselves. Yeah, this is a problem for the uh, for the British artillery. But they are actually hitting with some shots, so apparently it's not too big a problem. Anyway. Yeah, I think this is a decent place. At least for those guys. So, Unlimba. And pound the enemy into dust. Might try to go for Duke of Wellington, actually. Meanwhile, the British are going after their own men. Not killing any one of them, though. <laughs> Should probably aim for this. Wow. This is... <laughs> this is quite bad for... Uh, limiting the uh, the um, impact of the artillery. Speaking of impacts, that impacted several horses. Oh wow, look at that, 20, 20 horses of this unit alone. And then 10 from the Duke of Wellington, from the, well, from the General's bodyguard. I don't think the artillery took too much uh, pounding. They weren't gonna just sit there and take it um, because of the bridge position, I think. Anyway. Um, I am actually being charged by them. Which was a bit um, hmm, unexpected. I would, uh, would think is the best were to describe this. Okay, the general is, is routing. He will most likely return. I think so, at least. Yeah, immediately. And what I will try to do, if I can actually bother to move my horses out of the way, is to... Um, to get these guys into a position in which they are able to actually kill the Duke of Wellington. Nice one. Apparently the British infantry isn't liking this too much, which is very much understandable. Actually, let's take my artillery and go after these guys. So I know it's on the edge edge of the range, so this might not be too effective. Well, of course, we saw what the artillery did with these guys, so maybe not. Anyway, British Assault is failing spectacularly. Mm hmm. Definitely. Okay, British Cavalry. Well, except for the fact that they are being attacked by artillery. Well, never mind then. Uh, <laughs> I was gonna say they are definitely going to lose this. But, apparently the artillery was enough to um, discourage them. And these guys, they are brave as hell. Wow. And they're actually... They seem to be effective as well. Hmm. Quite brave of them. Actually. 14 morale. That's, that's very good. So, cavalry. Ready to seal the deal? Mm-hmm. 
Mm -hmm. Fences. Okay. They might need a good, uh, good charge. They should, they should break from that. I'm fairly certain. Let's see. Good targets for artillery. I think I found one. Okay, the Duke of Wellington's actually in here. Wow. That's. Uh, <laughs> I'll uh, give my res respect to that. Having 14 men and uh, Berkeley being on the front line. Something my general can't really uh, boast too much about. Well, I'll try to get an up there and see what he is able to do. Mm -hmm. Can't see anyone. Let's see, this is gonna kill my frame rate. Well, I still can't really see them, but I know they're there, so. That's efficient, I guess. Okay, cavalry engaging. Okay. Highland foot. You're out in the open and everything. Oh, I think I routed the fencibles, but apparently now the foot came into the mix. No, here's the fencibles. Well, they are gonna lose. A glorious victory, sir. Okay, British artillery being, uh, yeah, just plow through. They're still standing there. <laughs> like the Beatles would say. <laughs> well, not in the same respect. I, hi I highly doubt that. Anyway. So, now we have three units remaining, let's go for the general, the duke himself, try to knock him out for time being at least. Mm -hmm. Let's see, a unit that has not routed yet. These guys, regular foot. Okay, we caught the duke of Wellington in a melee engagement. Where is the bastards? Nope, that's not him. Okay, there we go. So, as you can see here, enemy general wounded. And on, I think, pretty much every other general, it would say enemy general killed. Or your general killed if it's uh, your own general getting killed. Mm hmm. Quite <laughs> a brutal battle right there. Yeah, this is what I <laughs> really enjoy fighting. Well, it sounds... well... I guess it might be a bit... I can't even remember the name of the word I'm looking for. But I guess it's a bit, <laughs> a bit sick to say this, but... One thing I really enjoy about the Darth Maul battles is, like, all the bodies remaining on the field and you can just see where the carnage took place. Absolute carnage. Yeah, you just see where the major engagements took place. Anyway. Cavalry. I guess we can break the last remaining unit. Well, the last three remaining units, apparently. And I think my artillery can silence its guns for now. Are these guys actually out of range? Apparently. No, they have used all their, all their ammunition. Well then. Okay, we charge a square. Hmm. Not the best of ideas, so let's send in some infantry. Yeah, let's actually try to pull them out before they suffer too heavy losses, or just swarm them. Yeah, that worked as well, apparently. 
And yeah, that's the British Army on the run. So, ending battle, heroic victory. Well, that I don't agree with at all. That was definitely not heroic. That was extremely one-sided. So, let's take care of the only remaining units. Our general, that was not Moat, not at all. Davo, Louis Nicolas Davo, Nicolas Davo, maybe. Glorious general, nice. City besieged, well, trade agreement cancelled. Those guys also cancelled. So these guys are now at war because they were precious allies. And uh, yeah, I think. Uh, oh, Jean Baptiste Bernadot. Uh, well, I might be able to save him by getting him to Holland. Because I don't think Austria at war with them at this point in time. Let's see. Maybe, because of course Austria being my ally. Let's see. King of Prussia at war. Nope. Not the Netherlands. Not yet, anyway. Maybe the, they were one of the... Um, yeah, they just refused to join the war. Even though they were my allies. Hmm. I don't really like that, but I, I can understand that. They, they are a board state, and Prussia is quite as the, um, the uh, formidable foe. Let's try to get an alliance back. Sure thing. Uh, Denmark. Historically, we should be allies, so, yep. They also refuse to join, so. That's why. Oh, Sweden. I'm at war with Sweden. Russia. Prussia. Austria and Britain. So it's fairly fairly accurate. So the battle I was talking about, or the Austrian army I was talking about, this might. Yeah, I think this also is. Uh, well, this is the Austrian general which basically can't die. Okay. So Munich, or Munich, is. I think it's lost. Well, for now, so so as you can see, this army won't be able to reach that. So I'd rather have these guys survive and fight on with Napoleon, and probably defeat these guys. Probably, not not definitely, but probably. So I'd rather have them there rather than just definitely losing if these guys decide to attack. Which I probably will do. Nation joins your enemies. Oh. Yep, those guys. So yeah, uh Hanover. As I said, I'm fairly certain that it's lost. And why I didn't try to pull my army out at the same time, I have no idea as to why. Let's see. Apparently I can just make it over the border. With one unit, wow! I apparently I, I don't uh, have the skill to be able to select my ar entire army. Artillery, though. Well, never mind. Oh, yeah. Of course, I can't go through this because we're not an, we're not allied. Can't go through this. That's too um, too dense forest, apparently. So. Hmm. This might actually cause a problem, because if these guys attack these guys, these guys will automatically be, uh, will be um, just forced into it. Well, that was... Yeah, thank you. Anyway, so Jean-Baptiste has to stay here until these guys move, and then he will be able to uh, try to help uh, Brussels. Also, right here... I'm using a lot of money to build a 122-gun ship of the line. So, hopefully that will be worth it. I don't know. Also building a 74-gun ship of the line? Yeah. 
and we have this existing navy, which isn't too impressive, except for for uh, uh, Villeneuve's uh, own 200, 200, yeah, 122 gun ship of the line. But slowly, slowly but surely, we are building a navy up uh, Brussels, which might be able to defeat Nelson. We'll see about that. Yeah. It's not on board his, uh, his victory. That's interesting. Of course, what I'm able to do, I think I will be able to do, if not uh, Portsmouth, is... It might be. But I think we can... Um, yeah. Basically just kill off this ship. Yeah, we lost the ship. Huh. Did we lose a 74-gun ship of the line? Probably. <sighs> Knowing my luck. Anyway. Yeah, I really need to actually play out those battles. Uh, if I attack those guys, they might get pulled into it. But I actually don't think so. If they do, I'll break off the attack. And that'll be that. Oh, yeah. Let's see, I will actually fight this because... As we've seen in the past, naval, uh, well, well, definitely naval battles, but auto resolves in general can be disastrous. And when it comes to naval battles, auto resolve, you can lose like seven of your ships to some crappy one. As always, turn on all of this, all of, all of this. Is this an options menu? I don't think so. But is it re this is really annoying. Anyway. We have the Scipio, our flagship, with our admiral standing right here, Wilnov himself. But strangely, he shares his appearance with pretty much every every marine on this French vessel. At least the facial features. <laughs> Yeah, I remember posting a posting a picture on the um, on the Total War Reddit, and it was basically of a line infantry unit uh, uh, presenting their weapons and were close to firing, and um, and yeah, and it was Sweden by the way. So uh, one of the comments was, I think it was a top water comment, was uh, uh, behold the uh, the might of the. Uh, uh, 18th century, it's it's 18th, right? Yeah, 18th century um, uh, Swedish clone army. That's pretty funny, actually. Okay, I was actually meaning to uh, slow down. Yeah, this was Empire, by the way. That was, that's why I said 18th. I know this is the 19th century. Okay, 74 gun ship of the line. Apparently this can't turn for shit, which, uh, <laughs> which I'm guessing is historical accurate. Historically accurate, so you get to pass on that one. So this is actually a fifth rate, not the ship of the line, but still a rated ship, I guess. Ah, uh, can't guess this ship to turn for shit. Okay. Not this one either, apparently. Let's try to turn you the other way and try to harness the uh, wind as long as you can. And wow, can you turn ever? You have the, you have the option, the will, anything. Okay, you guys go like this. Well, more like this. Okay, this will be devastating. I think. I hope. Also, now finally he's firing, and of course, now he's hitting my own ship as well. Brilliant. But. Ooh. That was a bit nasty. Okay, let's try to board. We should have. 
We should definitely have. Uh, should have we should have the advantage here. Yeah. No doubt about it. Okay. Rest if you guys. Just hold your fire. Where's the fire at will? There we go. Along with you guys. You can actually come over here, but don't you dare try to fire. But you guys, you can try to fire a grape shot to lower lower their amount of men. You should probably do the same, by the way. Okay, 66 men against 170 men. So this should this should be a one way one way battle, but boardings can be uh, quite deadly for the boarding party. Okay, so these guys are wavering. They should be breaking and surrendering pretty soon. And if they do, I will have this ship added to my fleet. Come on, guys. There we go. Seriously? Okay, so these guys... Oh, God. <sighs> okay, this is a 38-gun frigate, and I will get this 38-gun 5th rate, so... Well, at least it's a good replacement. And what the hell are you doing? Are you sinking as well? We were, you were way down to, into the waves there. If we can call them that. Okay, thankfully these guys surrendered, so I now have that ship. But apparently a few a few lonely cannonballs managed to uh, sink that ship. And I don't really follow the logic there. Because as you clearly saw... At the start, <laughs> when my 122-gun ship passed the 38-gun uh, fifth rate, well, it did minimal damage, and it wasn't even at the edge of the range or anything. It was actually pretty darn close to the uh, close to the middle of the range, and it was just completely ineffective. Just completely. And even when my 74 gun uh, ship of the line just laid into it, well, it flinched a bit. And, well, it was like, meh, I've seen worse. And then just continued on. <sighs> anyway. I have lost a few trading partners. But I still have an income. So, this army. Where are your needers? I need you right here. That's that's definite. So I guess the in invasion of England. I'm um, I'm sorry to say. I think I must cancel it, and I have to deal with Prussia. Uh, these guys, Hessen Castle, Hessen. Yeah, I have to deal with Hessen and Austria, and probably Russia as well. Pretty soon. But, I think this is the end of the part, we have gone on for long enough, and I shall do two battles, so be grateful. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed what you saw, and as always, I will see you guys next time. Goodbye.